Ah, hello, and it's a blessed morning to you. This is Dr. Bill Bledsoe bringing you, leading you, and hoping you'll join me in another prayer session. These are your prayers said aloud in the privacy of your own home. I just begin them, but they're your prayers. They're your private concerns, your private walk with God, and it'll be different every day. And it's way different than mine. My walk with God's, everybody's walk is different. And so that's why personal prayers said aloud are so important. So we'll begin by me saying the, my own prayer. Beloved God, I thank you for this wonderful method of prayer of us, each of us praying aloud in the privacy of our own homes, toning afterwards, doing body movements that heal our bodies while our prayers heal our minds, our spirits, and our souls. I thank the generations that have brought this to us from the house of Abraham, the house of David, from Jesus, Mother Mary, his father Joseph, Mary Magdalene, and Virginia Ellen, who wrote the book, Sacred Heart Yoga, so anybody could practice this ancient method of prayer anytime they want, any way they want. I thank you all. Amen. Now, we'll begin by saying the Sacred Heart Yoga Prayer. Repeat after me. Beloved God, I devote this practice this day. to the evolution of my soul. To the fulfillment of my destiny. In service to you, O oh God. And I allow myself to be purified. cleansed of all my fears, as I rejoice in your kingdom of heaven and the love of you, O oh God. And I give thanks for these many blessings these moments that I can share. With my body, my mind, my spirit, and my soul in oneness with you, O oh God. And so it is. Amen. Om. Now we're going to try to clear our minds of our concerns, our early morning fears of things we got to get done, time schedules, whatever. It's just things that will keep us from being able to truly love. And we do this by putting our right hand up to the 12 o'clock position, and we'll move it over to the 3 o'clock position down to the mat, our right knee, left knee, 9 o'clock position, and then back up to the 12 o'clock position. As we do this motion, repeat after me. My God... I clear my mind and my energy field of anyone or anything standing within. I truly bless them and I send them into your light, O oh God.
Om. Now we're going to hold our hands over our hearts and ask, how may we serve? The answer always comes to me in, in just one or two words. And then I'll know exactly. I, I don't understand them ever at the beginning, but by the time I'll use them over and over during the prayers. And by the time I'm finished, I'll have a very good, clear understanding of, of what God wants me to do. So the way this works is I'll begin the prayers, but if you have anything you... Well, you'll, you'll finish them with your own heartfelt concerns, and then we'll tone at the end. And here our prayers begin with, we take our right hand over our hearts, and I'll always say those words, our prayers begin with, and you repeat them and then finish it with your own heartfelt concerns. So, hand over our hearts, our prayers begin with, My God, how may I serve you this day? Om. Now, we're going to stand up, and we'll say aloud what came to us. And we do this by standing straight and tall, putting our palms forward. And here our prayers begin with, My God, my intention to serve you this day is to Om. Now we're going to seal our intention to serve, seal our oath to God by saying the word Amen three times. This is how an oath was sealed in Aramaic in Jesus' tongue. Here we're going to sing it whatever tune you want, as loud as you want in the privacy of your own home. Amen three times. Amen. 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 Now we're going to sit down, back down on the mat and lay down on our backs and get into resting position. Resting position is our Legs outstretched and our arms at our sides.
And we begin by pulling our right knee up to our chest, holding it there with our arms and our hands. And here our prayers begin with, O oh God, my true Father, I love you and I thank you for Om. Now we hold our right foot in our left hand, pull it over to our left thigh, let our right knee drop down to the mat, and our right arm goes straight up above our heads, stretched out down to the mat, and here our prayers begin with, O oh God, my true Father, I love you and I thank you for Um, now we're going to switch hands. We'll take our right foot in our right hand, holding it down near our pelvis. And our left arm goes straight up above our heads this time, down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with, God, my true Father, I love you with all my heart, and I thank you for... Now we take our right foot and we point it up towards the heavens. And here our prayers begin with, O oh God, my true Father, I love you and I thank you for Um, now we need, need to let our right leg fall down to the mat, out to the right side of our bodies, Stay, opening our pelvis as wide as we can, and our arms get outstretched straight from our shoulders down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with, O oh God, my true Father, I love you and I thank you for
Aum. Now we turn our heads to the right, keeping our arms outstretched and our shoulders down on the mat. We take our right foot across our bodies over to the left side, down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with, O oh God, my true Father, I love you and I thank you for Now we go back to resting position, legs outstretched, arms at our sides, and we pull our left knee up to our chest, holding it there with our arms and our hands. And here our prayers begin with, O oh God, my true mother, I love you and I thank you for Um. Now we take our left foot with our right hand, pull it over to our right thigh, and let our left knee fall down to the mat, and our left arm goes straight up, extended above our heads, stretched out down to the mat, and here our prayers begin with, O oh God, my true mother, I love you and I thank you for Um. Now we switch hands, we take our left foot in our left hand and hold it down near our pelvis. Our right arm goes stretched out straight above our heads down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with, O oh God, my true mother, I love you and I thank you for
Om. Now we take our left foot and we point it up towards the heavens. Here our prayers begin with. O oh God, my true mother, I love you and I thank you for Om. Now we let that left foot fall out to the left side of our bodies, out to the side, opening our pelvis as wide as we can. And our arms extend straight out once again from our shoulders down to the mat, palms up. Here our prayers begin with. O oh God, my true loving mother, I love you and I thank you for Om. This time we turn our heads to the left, keeping our shoulders down flat on the mat. We take our left foot across our bodies over to the right side and down to the mat, extend it out. And here our prayers begin with, O oh God, my true mother, I love you and I thank you for Om. Now we go back to resting position and we pull both knees up to our chest, holding them there with our arms and our hands. And here our prayers begin with, my God, I truly love you, and I thank you for Om. Um. 
Now we take our right foot in our right hand and our left foot in our left hand. Put the soles of our feet together down near our pelvis. And here our prayers begin with, My God, I truly love you. And I thank you for... Om. Now we pull our feet apart, keeping them down near our pelvis. And here our prayers begin with, God, I truly love you. And I thank you for... Om. Now we take our feet, both feet, point them up towards the heavens. And here our prayers begin with, God, I truly love you. And I thank you for... Om. Now we let our feet fall down to the mat near our pelvis. We extend our arms straight out to the sides from our chest, only this time our palms are down, down on the mat. Our feet fall down near our pelvis, our knees are upward, and we turn our heads to the left, keeping our shoulders down flat on the mat, we take our knees over to the right side, down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with, Oh God, I truly love you. And I thank you for... Om. Now we turn our heads to the right, keeping our shoulders down flat on the mat once again, and our knees go over to the left side of our bodies. And here our prayers begin with, My God, I love you, and I thank you for...
Now we go back to resting position, legs outstretched, arms at our sides. And the next thing we're going to do is surrender to God any fears, any distractions, anything that might be troubling us this day. We do this by putting our hands under our sit bones and leaning forward on our elbows, trying to touch the tops of our heads back down to the mat. And as we do this, our prayers begin with, my God, I surrender to you. Om. Now we go back to resting position. And we, this time, take our left arm and we reach for the heavens with our left hand. And we let it fall over to the right side of our bodies, and we take our right hand halfway between our left elbow and left shoulder, stretching it over farther. And here our prayers begin with. God, in your name, I choose to. Om. Now we take our right hand and reach for the heavens. Let it fall over to the left side of our bodies. Take our left hand halfway between our right shoulder and right elbow, stretching our shoulders and backs a little more. And here our prayers begin with, God, in your name, I can.
Now we go back to resting position, legs outstretched, arms at our sides. And this time we pull our feet up to our pelvis, flat on the mat, and let our knees fall out to the sides. And this forms a tabernacle, a triangle below our bodies. We form a second tabernacle by putting our hands in prayer position over our hearts, extending them up two thirds of the way up to the heavens. And in this tabernacle, this house of God, we find God's beautiful chalice filled with anything we could ever desire or need being in service to God, only in service to God. And so here, our prayers begin with, God, I drink from your chalice, your gifts to me of. Um. Now we take our hands down over our heads. In prayer position and down to the mat. Our elbows fall out to the sides, down to the mat. And we form a tabernacle over our entire bodies. So here our prayers begin with. God, I truly thank you for healing my body, my mind, my spirit, and my soul. Um, now we're going to start the anointing series, and it's four postures. The last one's kind of a movement, a motion where we move our hands. But we repeat it three times. And so we keep our hands in prayer position throughout the, all three of the anointing series. And we take our thumbs to our foreheads, and our prayers begin with, God, I anoint your gifts to me of Um. Now we take our thumbs down to our lips and our prayers begin with, God, I bless and I dedicate only in service to you, your gifts to me of Oh. 
Now we take our hands down over our hearts and our prayers begin with, God, I truly thank you for your gifts to me of Om. Now the fourth pose is a motion where we move our hands. We point our fingers down into our abdomens, extend them straight out to above our pelvis at the three o'clock position, like the arms of a clock, and rotate them counterclockwise up to the 12 o'clock position, then the nine o'clock position over our heads down to the mat and then back to our foreheads. As we do this motion, our prayers begin with, God, I fill my body, my mind, my spirit, and my soul with your gifts to me of Om. Now we take our thumbs back to our foreheads and begin the second out of three in the anointing series and our prayers begin with, God, I anoint your gifts to me of Om. Now we take our thumbs down to our lips and our prayers begin with, God, I bless, dedicating only in service to you, your gifts to me of Now we take our hands down over our hearts and hear our prayers begin with. God, I truly thank you for your gifts to me of Om. Now we take our hands and point them down into our abdomens, extend them out to the three o'clock, 12 o'clock, nine o'clock position. As we do this, our prayers begin with, 
God, I fill my body, my mind, my spirit, and my soul with your gifts to me of Om. Now we take our thumbs back up to our foreheads for the third and final in the anointing series. And here our prayers begin with, My God, I anoint your gifts to me of. Um, now we take our thumbs down to our lips and hear our prayers begin with God, I bless and I dedicate only in service to you your gifts to me of Um. Now we take our hands down over our hearts and our prayers begin with, My God, I truly thank you for your gifts to me of Um. Now we do the motion, point our fingers down into our abdomens, extend our hands out to the 3 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 9 o'clock position. As we do this motion, our prayers begin with, My God, I fill my body, my mind, my spirit, and my soul with your gifts to me of Um. 
Now we go back to resting position, arms at our sides, feet outstretched. We cross our right ankle over our left ankle, our right wrist over our left wrist over our hearts. And here our prayers begin with, God, I truly thank you for protecting me and keeping me safe. Um. Now we're going to roll over on our sides, pushing ourselves back up into sitting position, using our arms and our hands. Now we extend our right leg straight out in front of us. Our, right foot, our left foot goes across our right knee. And we hold our, our left knee with our right hand. And we take our left hand behind our backs for support, twisting our backs, our shoulders, and our heads to the left. And our prayers begin with, Desire I am, desire I am, desire I am. God, in your name, I desire to... Om. Now we switch legs. Our left foot goes straight out in front of us. Right foot goes across our left knee. And we hold our right knee with our left arm, left right arm behind our backs for support. And we twist our backs, our shoulders, and our heads to the right. And our prayers begin with, Will I am, will I am, will I am. God, in your name, I will. Now we get up on our knees. Put our hands in prayer position over our hearts. And here our prayers begin with, God, I truly thank you for
Om. Now we form a tiny tabernacle with our hands by putting the tips of our thumbs together, the tips of our first fingers together. We'll lay this down on the mat in front of us and put our foreheads in it as we bow over in child's pose. And here we just take some time to feel God's love and God's wisdom filling our bodies, filling our minds. Om. Now we go back to sitting position. Here our right leg gets extended out straight over to the right side of our bodies. Our left foot comes up to the inside of our right thigh. And here our prayers begin with, God, in your name, I will be. Om. Now we take our left foot out to the left side of our bodies, extending it straight out. Our right foot comes up to the inside of our left thigh. And here our prayers begin with, God, in your name, I am Om. Now, we go back to sitting position. Sitting up straight and tall. We hold our hands on our knees, palms up, thumbs touching our middle two fingers. Sitting straight and tall, we bow forward at our pelvis, keeping our back straight. And our prayers begin with, I bow to you, my God, for healing my body, my mind, my spirit, and my soul. Om. Now sitting back up straight and tall, second time, we bow forward at our pelvis once again, and our prayers begin with, 
I bow to you, my God, my Father, my Mother, the One, the Oneness. Om. Now we sit back up straight and tall and we feel where we're grounded down to the mat. Left side and right side of our pelvis. On the left side of our pelvis, we feel God's wonderful white light of motherly love, motherly nurturing, of motherly creation, of new cells and new life all around us new cells in our bodies. This white light fills our legs to the fullest, to the tips of our toes. The white light comes up through our abdomens, filling every cell and every organ to the fullest. White light comes up into our chests and into our hearts. And we, our hearts act like a beacon to the world with God's love. The white light comes up through our throats into our minds, filling our minds with the certainty of God's love. And it goes out the tops of our heads, filling the skies all above us. And it expands out over the entire earth. It's white light. And it rains down upon every living creature, God's true love. Now we feel on the right side of our pelvis a blue light, God's blue light of truth. This blue light fills our legs to the fullest, to the tips of our toes. It fills our abdomens, every cell and every organ to the fullest with truth, with knowing, knowing how to heal. It fills every cell in our hearts and our every breath we take, our lungs are filled with God's truth and it's pumped to our bodies, every cell in our bodies, every moment of the day and night. The blue light comes up into our minds and we have the absolute certainty of God's truth and wisdom. Blue light goes out the tops of our heads, filling the skies above us. And it expands out over the entire earth and rains down God's wisdom. Now we can step up into the light, stay as long as we want, ask anything that we want to ask. But the one question we should always ask before leaving is, God, what do I need to know this day? <laughs>